Hello everyone and welcome back to another Soul Shards video. Today I'm going to show you the basics of the mod. So first of all you will need a Soul Forge. You craft it like this with some stone, obsidian and uh, corrupt essence. Corrupt essence you get while com combining vile dust with glowstone dust. Vile dust you get from smelting soul sand. You also need vile dust to smelt your diamonds or what you should call it in this soul forge so you place the diamond here it will start the process and you will get three soul shards from every diamond it takes around eight corrupt essences to complete one of these processes it will take up to 10 minutes I think so it takes a while. A wild sword is a weapon in uh, this mod. It's as powerful as a iron sword, but it has one advantage. It's this soul stealing, soul stealer, enchant. It will get you more souls when you kill enemies. So there we have a slime. Now, this turned into a s slime soul shard with one kill. But if I kill one of the slimes with this sword that has soul stealer 4 on it, and I got soul stealer on this sword with an animal, so now I got 6 kills. 1 plus 5 is 6. So you can greatly increase the amount of soul you get with this enchant, so I really recommend using wild swords. Let's see how you get one. With corrupt ingots, and you get them from using gold in a soul, soul forge. Interesting. These crystals. It's a creative mod item that has no purpose or use in the version I'm using now. But I think in the future it will be a kind of a bank for soul shards. So if one of your friends and you both has a shard, like this slime shard with 250 kills, and use it in this crystal, you can com combine them to get one with 500 souls, but it's not implemented, so I'm not sure. Let's see here. These are skeleton spawners. So you can right click on a spawner after you have designated your soul shard. And there I died. I hate the slimes in these worlds. Let's kill him. Leave me alone. I should have gotten a sword of a sapphire. Now we need to spawn a skeleton. So now, this soul shard turned into a skeleton spawner, or skeleton shard. Now we can right click on these spawners to increase the amount of souls. You get 200 souls from each of the spawners. So spawners are a great way to get your soul shards up to a high tier. So the maximum amount of tier you can get is 5, it's at 1024 souls. The first is at the first rank tier is at 64, the second is at 128, the third is on 256, and the fourth is on I think it's 
512. And the last one, the fifth one, is on 1012. If you have any questions about the basics in s Soul Shards, leave a comment. If you like the video, like it. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.